between breaking rules that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to secret love affairs, these are some of the craziest and most interesting things that happened on the set of CBS's The Big Bang Theory. But before we get to any spicy romance, let's have a look at some of the rules that the cast had to adhere to. These rules weren't always for the safety of the cast and crew. We all noticed at one point or another that just about every character on The Big Bang Theory dressed exactly the same in every single episode. Whether it's Sheldon's t-shirt over a long sleeve with the sleeves rolled up, or Howard's iconic turtleneck, the wardrobe choices were very deliberate. The only main cast member allowed more regular costume changes was Kaylee Cuoco, who played everyone's favorite girl next door, Penny. That hardly seems fair, since everybody likes to dress up. Another strict rule for all actors on the show was no improv. Improvisation is often encouraged in TV shows and movies, allowing for organic moments that might not have been dreamed of in the writer's room. But the Big Bang Theory's cast members had to stay faithful to the written words. Only a few times did an actor get away with this breach. The law of conservation of script dictates that ad-libs cannot be created and thus cannot be destroyed. Luckily for Kevin Sussman, the character of Stuart, he was allowed to have his desperate declaration of love for Penny remain in the show. I love you, he blurted out meekly in one early episode. This became a delightful reference for fans of the show. Let's revisit that $100,000 rule break. Contrary to what you may think, this one is super wholesome. After a while, some of the main cast members realized that they were earning considerably more than their co-stars. Johnny Galecki, Jim Parsons, and Kaylee Cuoco, who played Leonard, Sheldon, and Penny, respectively, earned a million dollars in the last few seasons, per episode, each. However, the actors playing Howard, Raj, Bernadette, and Amy only earned $250,000 per episode. Now, that ain't small change, but it is a quarter of what their co-stars earned, and generally with as much screen time as one another. So rather than a potentially fatal dispute happening, the three leads each offered to take a $100,000 pay cut each in order to subsidize the pay raise for the others. Talk about love! Now, we know the chemistry on this legendary sitcom was real. Although no financial disputes happened, there were a number of accidents that affected the show. Kaylee Kawoko was an avid horse rider, and a good one at that. Nevertheless, the actress had a bad accident whilst riding that left her with a badly broken leg. Gristly enough that the star alluded to various bones sticking out after the accident. Ew, TMI. But the writers came up with a clever plotline to avoid this impacting the show too much. Remember when Penny decided she wanted to be a bartender? Well, this was not totally random. Shooting the show with Penny behind a bar counter, or anything that would obstruct her legs from view, helped to hide the fact that Kuoko was in a second cast for a good little while. And this wasn't the only injury the writers had to cover for. Mayim Bialik, who played Amy, was involved in a scary car accident that left her injured in her own right. Her right hand, to be more specific. Once again, the writers and directors chose not to incorporate this into the show. Instead, clever cinematography allowed the actress's hand to be concealed from view until it had fully healed. Poor Kevin Sussman didn't always get so lucky. He avoided what could have been an accident of some sort. Aquaphobia may be an unusual fear, but this phobia of water is experienced by almost 3% of all Americans. That figure includes our favorite comic book store owner. In one episode of the show, Stewart had to be submerged in a hot tub for a short while. Poor guy. He made it out okay though, with the support of his co-stars and crew members. We told you, everybody really cared about each other. Talking about love and support, I bet you didn't know this was the reason Howard and Bernadette's baby Hallie was never shown on screen. Of course, one reason was because the show didn't need to have an actual baby on set. I don't know if you've successfully directed an infant actor, but it can be quite challenging. The real reason was because it paid tribute to the actress who voiced Howard's mother, the mighty matriarch, Mrs. Wallowitz. I'm just excited to talk to my baby! I'm excited to talk to you too! Carol Ann Susie sadly passed away in 2014. It's a legendary voice on the show. The Big Bang Theory showrunner Steve Malero said, Hallie is a loving tribute to her grandmother. 
this is a nice way to keep Mrs. Wallowitz alive. Since Howard's mother passed away in the show, we can rest in peace knowing Hallie probably screamed just as much. And Mrs. Wallowitz wasn't the only powerful woman on the show. Mayim Bialik had some incredible qualifications. Not only was she obviously an actor, but she spoke multiple languages and even had a PhD in neuroscience. What are the odds? So Bialik was double hired as a consultant for the show's science references. She helped fact check everything from equations on whiteboards to theories explored in the show's runtime. However, as impressive as the actress who played Amy was, there was some public backlash she faced during the tenure of the show. In 2009, Bialik publicly acknowledged that she is an anti-vaxxer, admitting that her children had never received any inoculations. Unfortunately for her, this was not the only time she faced a public roasting. Five years later, in 2014, Bialik penned an article called Being a Feminist in Harvey Weinstein's World. People were outraged, however, at the victim-blaming Bialik posted in the article. She suggested that certain behaviors among women invite harassment and coercion. No good, Amy. She later apologized on Twitter for the big bang the article had caused. Now let's move on to the spicier details of our favorite science show's backstage affairs. Jim Parsons, the star who played Sheldon for 11 years, came out as gay in 2012, but was previously worried about the impact that fact might have on the show's success. Eventually, the truth came out rather quickly in an interview when he was surprised with a question asking him what it's like to be a gay man. Parsons said he was grateful for the question. It seemed to have a positive effect on his career, and in the case of The Big Bang Theory, it allowed him to portray Sheldon as a more fully realized character, he said. While Parsons kept his love life off the show, this wasn't the case for Johnny Galecki and Kaylee Cuoco. The actors that played Leonard and Penny had a secret relationship for nearly two years in the early years of the show. Spicy! This secrecy was ultimately the downfall of their relationship. Can you imagine not spending any real time with your partner? No thanks. But we're all happy to know they're still close friends, with Galecki himself saying, Kaylee's not just an ex, she's a part of my life. Here's some bonus trivia. This was not the first time Galecki had dated a fellow cast member. Galecki and Sarah Gilbert shared a romantic relationship in the late 1990s when they were both starring on the ABC sitcom Roseanne. Gilbert went on to guest star as Leslie Winkle on The Big Bang Theory. Kaylee Cuoco was involved in another relationship at the same time she starred as Penny. The second time, however, was far less private. So not private, in fact, that she got the engagement date tattooed on her back. Cuoco evidently regretted this and filed for divorce from American tennis star Ryan Sweeting after only a year and a half of marriage. Sweeting's substance abuse created tension within the relationship and ultimately led to its downfall. Talk about oh love. So now you know some of the spiciest details that went on behind the scenes of the Big Bang Theory. From six-figure decision-making to secret love affairs, CBS's 12-season long hit had its fair share of drama. Whoever said sitcoms were only funny?